EndNote is a software package that you can use to collect and organise your references and to create bibliographies. This video will demonstrate how to create a library and manually add references in EndNote Desktop. To start using EndNote Desktop, you first need to create a file called a library to store your references. It can include lots of different reference types, i.e. books, journal articles, conference proceedings, websites, etc. First, you need to open the EndNote software. You will then need to choose Create a new library. A default file called My EndNote Library will be created. You can change the name of your library if you prefer, then click Save. EndNote libraries are made up of two parts a .enl file and a .data file folder. Ensure both parts are kept in the same location as both are needed for EndNote to function correctly. Please note your EndNote library should be saved to a location such as a hard drive. Libraries that are stored in cloud syncing folders such as OneDrive, iCloud, etc. can cause the data to corrupt over time. It is advisable to regularly back up your EndNote data to avoid such issues. You have now created your EndNote library. Once you start adding references, these will be displayed in the centre of the screen. To add a reference, you need to go to References, then choose New Reference. Alternatively, you can click on the clipboard icon on the central pane. A new window will appear. First, select the type of reference you require from the drop down menu. Reference types are listed alphabetically. Scroll up or down to locate the one that you need. In this example, I'm going to add a book. You will see the fields in EndNote will change to match the reference type. In EndNote, you just need to click in each field where you need to enter the information. For example, I need to enter the names of the authors. I first click on the author field and then type the name of the author, surname, comma, first name or initial. As this book has two authors, I now need to move to the next line by hitting enter and typing in the details of the second author in the same format. Each author must be entered on a separate line. If you have authors who have more complex names, they should be entered as follows. Again, surname, or what constitutes the surname, first name or initials. Sometimes you may need to reference an item where the author is the name of an organisation. So you don't have a surname or first name. In this case, you will need to enter the organisation's name in full and then add a comma at the end of the organisation. And this will ensure that it displays correctly in EndNote. As you enter your reference, you just need to click in each relevant field and enter the relevant details. Please note, you don't need to fill in all fields, just the ones that are relevant to that source type. Once you are happy with the details that you've entered, you need to click on Save to save the details and then click on the cross to close the reference window. Brief details of your reference now appear in the central pane. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see a summary of your reference. If you need to make any changes, you can click on edit to access the different fields in your reference. 
If you require further help with using EndNote, you can email library at mmu.ac.uk and you can access the EndNote guide from the library's homepage where you will find further information and videos on using the software effectively.